Yo, 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 this is your boy Flavor Flav bringing a Tuesday video at you. Yeah, boy. Why, thank you, Flavor Flav. That was a wonderful introduction, which also is a great segue into Nerd Fightastic Question of the Week. What is the weirdest gift you have ever been given, but you were like strangely enthusiastic about it? Because for me, it was a Flavor Flav sock puppet. Yeah, boy! That's enough of that. So on Saturday, for the third consecutive year in a row, I was certified in CPR. Woo! So that's fun. I can save your life and give you mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, ladies. So let me know if anyone sees Natalie Portman collapse from cardiac arrest. <laughs> I am on it! That was a little too enthusiastic and a little too creepy, wasn't it? Probably. One thing that I always find strange about CPR training is that the dummies have nipples, and they're like the creepiest things you've ever seen. The only dummy that's creepier than the CPR dummies is that creepy kickboxing dummy that's like on a stick that has like the angry face. You guys know what I'm talking about? He's got like, he's got like the Ken molded haircut, no arms, and then like an angry face, and he's just like on a stick. This is my impression of one of those angry face kickboxing dummies. One of the things I do with my spare time is I volunteer with the church youth group. And so I was there on Sunday and I was volunteering and I was like doing fun and awesome stuff. And then an exciting thing that every YouTuber dreams of happened to me. A high school girl walked up and said, excuse me. Have I seen you on YouTube? Yes, you have! Whoa! I'm famous, baby! She doesn't know that I'm Mr. Tuesday. She's only seen the video where I drive in a car with my brother, and then hilarity ensues. Link in the sidebar, link in the sidebar, link in the sidebar, link in the sidebar. So hanging around with high school students at the youth group, I was kind of afraid that I would feel old. But I didn't really feel that old. I felt, like, young and energetic, because I'm kind of a young guy, right? And then something horrible happened. There was this girl, and her face looked very, very familiar, but I knew that I didn't know her. And she was wearing a very, very old t-shirt, and I was like, where did you get that t-shirt? And then she was like, I got this t-shirt from my sister. She used to be in this youth group. And then it dawned on me, I was like, oh, your sister's name is Allison. I know your sister. She's the same age I am. I went to her graduation party. And then, nerd fantastic, this girl said something I will never forget. She said... I don't really remember that. I was 10 years old then. I am so old. Speaking of being old, I just want to throw this out there. Uh, does anyone else work out at the YMCA? Because what is it with going to that place and changing the locker room and old men walking around naked? Like, it's, they like get, they're like, I'm going to take a shower because I just worked out. And then they just take their clothes off and they just like walk from one side of the locker room to the other. And they don't put any clothes on. They don't even like wrap a towel around their waist. Who does that? Who does that? Honestly, really, really, really. There was an old guy yesterday in the locker room washing his hands at the sink and he was not wearing any clothes. And I was just sort of like... Uh, dude, you gotta cover up. This is, this is 2009 here, buddy. This is, this is not the, the Olympics in ancient Greece. I know that you look like you came from the Olympics in ancient Greece, but we are not there. You need to cover up your stuff, because no one wants to see that. <sighs> Casey, I got a package from you, and it was super awesome. Hooray for Chuck Norris movies! Yes! Chuck Norris for the win. Is that, like, that's, that's not even an option. It's just like Chuck Norris. It, yeah, that's what you should say. Instead of For the Win, you should just say Chuck Norris. I was watching one of the videos last night, Casey, and Chuck Norris faced off with a car. There was a car here, and there was Chuck Norris here, and the car revved its engine, and Chuck Norris put his gun away and just stared the car down, and then the car started moving forward, and Chuck Norris ran and jump kicked through the windshield and killed the guy driving the car. I mean, they didn't say that in the movie, but one can make the assumption that when you collide with Chuck Norris, you die. Everyone, I loved your random videos last week. That was amazing. Carmen, I love your normal video last week. But um, because they're always random. This is probably a good place to end. 
All right, nerd fightastasars, let's recap the video, shall we? Okay, here we go. Old guys without clothes, not so cool. Chuck Norris is an unstoppable force. Being recognized from YouTube is really, really great until someone else makes you feel old and then you just feel not so awesome. And also CPR dummies have creepy nipples. Sarah Dodd, I'll see you tomorrow. Take us out, Flava Flav. Yeah, boy, keep on rocking the free world. Old guys with skin and old balls. <laughs>